Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. And peace and blessings, what's up fam? How you doing? Where my east side is at from Long Beach, California. Recognize, recognize. All praises due to Allah, Muhammad is his messenger. Hey, out here at the uh, Niger Delta restaurant, over here in uh, Abuja. Where is it at, right there? Hey, hey, hey. Come eat some fufu with the THC. Come walk with me. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. And peace and blessings. What's up, fam? How you doing? I think you know what time it is. Yes, it is. It's time. Fufu -fu for my fufu, -fu for my fufu. -fu. But they call this pound and yam here. But uh, it's okay. To me, it's fufu. All right. I'm in Abuja at this nice restaurant called the Niger Delta Restaurant. Yeah. Got my fufu -fu fix. Got to get it settled. They call this pounded yam, but um, to me it's fufu. -fu. I said, is this fufu? -fu? And he said, no, it's not fufu, -fu, it's pounded yam. I said, but it looks like fufu -fu to me. What do you guys think? So, I don't know what's going on. So, uh, I don't know. My Nigerian brothers and sisters, let me know, comment below, because this looks like fufu -fu to me. And it's, I love this, <laughs> so I'm about to do it. You know, I'm just melodic, my name. Oh. Mm. Mm. got fish, fish bones in here. So, I got a goosey, egg and fish. I met some good people uh, so far at the hotel. They be giving a brother good advice. Told me about this restaurant too. So they have this thing called Boat. Boat is like Uber or Lyft in the States. So I use Boat to, to go here where I'm, where I'm at. So as far as like safety and security, uh, they were telling me like a three, about three years ago, it was kind of bad, you know, for kidnapping and things like that. Things have slowed down here. So, um, so uh, I said I didn't really have to worry you know, too much. So I just can't wait to get to Kano, and then where I'll be with my family there, I feel safer. But I don't feel unsafe, to be honest with you. We normally have gut feelings about things. I don't have a negative gut feeling about being here. But you know, I'll be here for a while, so let's see how it goes. Hmm. As I was saying, um, you know, I almost talking on this food, man. I'm sorry, it's a big crowd in here right now. So they just came in, so excuse the noise. But it's all good. But, you know, what am I thinking right now as far as uh, Nigeria? Like I said, uh, when I look at the Nigerian people, I, I see myself, I see, I mean, as far as the, the physical features and things. And it's like, it's extraordinary. It's, 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 I mean, the slave trade took a lot of us from here, and, uh, and, and, and you know, you know, when you when you are even sometimes I see Nigerian brothers and sisters when they come to the states, and if they speak in like uh, American English, I couldn't tell they're from Nigeria. So it's like, dang, here they they they, they teach uh, they teach uh, I mean they speak uh, Patwa, they broken English here too. So if you from the Caribbean and you speak Patwa, it's a good way to blend in and, and, and meet people. So, you know, this is just really 
my homecoming. This is real big, big time homecoming. Big time homecoming. You know. I'm just uh, really excited. Got a few subscribers already. You know, uh, talk to some people. That's what I'm doing and stuff, and uh, they end up subscribing immediately. So, but the bougie is nice, man. It's a fish bone, see this? Yeah, bougie is nice. It's a uh, so metro metropolitan city. Uh, what else can I say to you all, man? I'm just, uh, like I said, I'm humbled, I'm uh, honored, and uh, very grateful for this moment, and I'm not gonna take it for granted at all, you know. I'm not gonna take it for granted for all, at all. And I hope that this inspires you all to try to come home and take a trip. You know, I can see that. Even in Cameroon, it's the same way. Cameroon, a lot of Cameroonians look, look like the African Americans from diaspora as well. But they said Cameroon was once Nigeria, so that make make a uh, so if you have Cameroonian or Benin uh, ancestry, uh, if you do some DNA and that shows up that's basically Nigeria. So it's amazing. So even when I filmed that place, uh, the um, that uh, real estate company, they were really um, appreciative of me doing that. So, I'm, uh, man, I'm drunk, this stuff is good. Got my foo foo fix. So, uh, foo foo fix in Nigeria. You know, uh, I woke up this morning had a very good night's sleep. I met a couple of friends here from the States. Some brothers, uh, no, it's one sister from the state recommended that I meet two of her friends. So I met with them and stuff, had a good time talking. And uh, I, I was feeling, uh, you know, they were just asking me questions. You know, we was having a good co conversation about what is, uh, it is to be back home and stuff. And I was telling her, it's just amazing, man. It's amazing, man. And, and when I woke up this morning, I felt that a, a, a good, I was at a very good composure uh, as far as uh, I woke up in peace. And I felt like, you know, just, uh, man, it's just, I don't know, man. It just, I just felt tranquil. It was tranquil experience. You know, I felt like I was, uh, uh, I was waking up just like another Nigerian. This, uh, this hotel is like another Nigerian. So, because of my outfit, this dress right here, this is from Oman. So, people in uh, uh, Dubai, they wear it similar, but they don't wear these kufis up. Um, but somebody thought I was from the UAE. A lot of people say I'm, think I'm Arab. And I keep telling you all, man, Arabs are nothing but black people. And so they were, they, they were thinking I was Arab as well. So, so, uh, so the uh, the boat is like Lyft. You can pay with cash, or you can pay it off your credit card. So if you're gonna come to Nigeria, there's some things I can say to, for you to do that will help you stay so far. I mean, so far, I got me an international router. 4G that I use in Gambia. I purchased a SIM card. SIM card is for uh, my router. So I got a month for about $25 or something like that. I got a month of uh, service at the highest, highest level you can get. Because I'm going to be here for about a month. Or at least uh, two weeks. But if I stay a month, at least I did it. So at least I got enough juice. And then I bought another SIM card separately for about ten dollars. So for my uh, phone, make sure if you, if you, you know, so that way you can get use local, uh, uh, local uh, have a local number, use local minutes. Then as far as boat, you can download the app Boat. You can download the app B O L T. It's like Lyft or Uber. You can download that boat, that app before you come to here. 
But the key to it is that you should have a, uh, a local number uh, because that's what the taxi, that's what the boat riders, drivers, that's what they will uh, call you on the local number to see what if you are in lo the location where you're going to be at. So you can have to install a boat. You can install a boat and you change the number later. So at the hotel that I'm staying, they got everything there. You can actually go to the, uh, the hotel where I'm staying. You can get all at the hotel. You can book your flights there, inter, uh, international, I believe, in, uh, in within Nigeria flights. That's why I booked my Kano flight, flight to Kano. You can you can do all that at the hotel. It's your SIM card. You can get you can buy a phone there, local phone. Um, so that's how you get set up. That's how you get started. Uh, don't walk around here. Like a deer with the head headlights on. You know, don't, don't, don't come out here and all gullible and stuff either. You know, you gotta have a little little toughness with you. These brothers and sisters just like us. Cause they are us. We the same. So don't lose your uh, street savvy when you come to that as well. Oh. Like I said, I met some good people so far and trying to get this set up. Get this mo uh, keep this movement going. A happy companion. African Repat TV. You know, I changed the name of my of my thing because of what people were recommending for me and it seemed like uh, that's what my channel is all about. It's not all about me, it's all about repatriation for our people from the diaspora. And if you don't come over if you don't repatriate at least take a visit to the continent. All that stuff that you've been told about who our ancestors were. I believe that crap. They know different than us, man. They know different than us. So, so we're the same people, just on different continents. That's all it is. That's all it is. And hopefully there's a lot of Nigerians on here can, uh, uh, even my cousins, I mean, my cousin's like, I think she's like 60% uh, Nigerian when she did her DNA. That's a, that's a lot. That's a lot of uh, Nigerian. Uh, then that's without count, counting the uh, Cameroon and Benin. I knew I had to get my fufu fixed on. You know, you remain humble. That's what I do, I remain humble, remain grateful and thankful that I'm actually here. And uh, I'm happy. Uh, if you come in from the Gambia, don't worry about bringing Dallases here. Okay, the Dallases will go way, way down. The, 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 it's not worth really nothing here. Like, so, U.S. dollars, euros, and all that, that's the best way to do money transfer. Then I found out uh, that Rhea, Rhea works. Make sure you call your banks, let them know that you're over here. Uh, with the, um, the money, you can only take about 20,000, I think 20,000 20, Nara is out. And with 2,000 dollars, I think that's like 40 bucks. Yeah, that's about 40 bucks. Mm. At a time. So you may have to sit, you may have to sit at the uh, ATM for a little while withdrawing the money. The only thing I can say is that two incidents is kind of not negative, but interesting. Is that, you know, is that when I was trying to fly to Kano yesterday, there was uh, agents there working. They were willing to help a brother out, you know, trying to get me on there. But uh, 
is this a cash-based payment or something like that? But I was still kind of leery of it. Meaning that, uh, you know, you're gonna get me on standby, that's fine. Uh, but what if, what if I don't get on the plane? Where's my money gonna go, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I was thinking about. So I didn't go for that. I went ahead and booked on line and at the hotel. The hotel had the airline representatives down there, airline um, or office. We were able to purchase my ticket with the uh, credit card. I mean, with my uh, debit card. So that helped out. Second incident is that I'm, I'm up here in the, uh, the ATM at the hotel. All of a sudden, this guy, as I'm making my transactions, transactions out, multiple transactions, he's standing right there. The security stand is right there, right near the ATM machines. And this dude up here, standing right next to me looking at me. So I'm like, bro, do you mind? Are you, are you in line? He said, yeah, I'm in line. You know, the line behind me. But he just kept looking, so I finished what I was doing. I told the security guy who was sitting next to us, check this food. I thought, I thought he checked him. He's still in line. He's still sitting there watching everybody doing their transactions. And so, what the hell is going on? So I didn't like that part. So, I asked the dude, dude was he working there? He said, no. We just want to go there and watch everybody take our money. So that's the only, it's <laughs> spicy a little bit. But that's the only two incidents I can say that I had. But not really incidents, nothing ever happened out of it, but be cautious, man. Watch yourself, you know, um, as far as when you're dealing with the money, you know. Um, what else? That's about it, fam. You know, all I can say, man, is that when you put your mind to something and you put your prayers to it, you know, good things can happen um, if you do it right. It may not happen exactly when you want it to do, but, you know, keep keep pushing, man, when it happen. So I'm very humbled to be here, and um, I'm grateful, and, um, you know, please spread this. Keep spreading my, the word about what's going on. Share the videos, man, because, you know, share the videos for the purpose of not subscribers, but delivering the message out, okay? That we can do business out here. You can uh, have a new life here, or you can go back and forth to the, to the to, uh, diaspora, wherever you wanna go. I mean, wherever you're from in the West, you can go back and forth, do business, man. Everything is not confined to where you at. You have options. Take these options seriously. Okay, don't overlook it. Okay, don't overlook the option. Man. Don't, don't, because uh, there's people like the Nigerians and stuff, like what I know, they do a lot of good business. They said some of them are good and bad, this and that, you know, whatever. But the fact is, is that a lot of them are real good with business, especially Ebus and stuff. And, uh, from what I hear. Uh, so just just uh, guard your playbook, guard your playbook, guard your playbook. Get your go bag ready, get your go bag ready, get your go bag ready. Inspire, inspire, inspire. Um, share, share, share. Give your knowledge. If you're from the continent, man, help teach our people what we lost, man. All right. The ones who are willing to enable and you know, open to to uh, learn. Give it to them, man. Give it to them, man. Invite somebody out if they take a trip. Have your cousin or brother or sister show them around. Keep them safe. Let them come home and see this, man. Because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I mean, you can't get no, no more better instructions than this, man. You can't get better than this because boots on the ground. I'm boots on the ground here. There's people been here way, way longer than me from the diaspora. They have a little uh, big dinner lunch in the day, but I'm here right now, man. I'm laying, I'm laying it all out on the line for you all. So pray for me that I have a great, safe trip here. 
in this prosperous I develop uh, connect with more family members and um also uh you know uh, friends and just investments and that um the, you gotta start coming home man all right family i got i got my fufu in his hand but i'm gonna do this i can't do it this time Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you, and peace and blessings. And you know what I'm talking about. Thank you. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yeah.